Hello everybody and welcome back to another Storyteller video. They did add all these secret stamp collections in the latest devilish update. And I thought it would be fun if we go through and try and get every single stamp. Now there is a couple I've accidentally got, which I will kind of go through in the video as well. But as you can see, there's quite a few. There's you know, 4, 8, 16, 20, 24, 28. Math. There's math, there's math amount. There's some... All right, chapter two tragedies where we are going to find out. I've made myself a little bit tinier so we can see the screen. Edgar and Lenora are in love. And then Lenora passes away and Edgar is heartbroken. Poor Edgar. I know to take it any longer. He has the poison. But Lenora's revived because magic. Magic, magic, magic. Lenora looking for Edgar. Edgar, where are you? finds out that he has taken the poison because she was gone unable to go on she also takes the poison our first sticker our very first one we'd love to see it second one weather 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 original story by Gothy. goeth goethe Go something or other. Alrighty. Lenora drinks the poison, but what if she doesn't? What if she doesn't drink the poison? Lenora and Edgar are in love. They're so, so in love. But Bernard also wants Lenora and is heartbroken. Unable to go on. Instead of Lenora drinking the poison, what if Bernard does? Poor Bernard. Poor, poor Bernard. God dang it. They keep throwing these words at me I can't say. Macabre. 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 Let me know in the comments, please. Help me out. Mac, Maca, Maca. Isabel laughs at a tombstone. Isabel! Why would you? Isabel laughs at a tombstone is what we need. So Isabel already looking kind of sus here. Edgar and Lenora are in love. And then the cheeky devil makes Edgar think that Lenora has passed away. Moving on very, very quick, Edgar gets with Isabel and they're in love. One day out of the shops, Lenora makes a friend with Isabel. Oh, hi, you look nice. Um, yeah, have you heard about my husband, Edgar? Oh, I, my husband's also named Edgar. <laughs> Shocking! Shocked wives, we have one stamp! I didn't even mean to get that one. Accidental stamp. <laughs> and then Edgar passes away. <laughs> and Isabel finds it hilarious. She laughs at the tombstone. We got two for one there. Amazing. We love to see it. We love to see it. Excess. Lenora falls asleep. Lenora goes for sleepy sleeps. Interesting. Okay, Lenora goes to sleep. So what if Edgar and Isabel are together in love? In love. And then Lenora is heartbroken because she wants Isabel. But there's only one way to... Oh, that's the wrong kind of sleep. Okay, that's not it. That's not... <laughs> what if What if Edgar and Lenora start together? Edgar and Lenora start together. And then, and then, and then, and then, Edgar and Isabel. Isabel gets mad because Edgar's with Lenora. Lenora goes to poison. Lenora. But accidentally poisons Edgar. And then, because she can't take it without Edgar, Lenora has a bit of a drinky drink and falls asleep. Can we change who um, has the drinky drink? Or Isabel can take it. <laughs> Lenora cannot. Okay, that's fine. Age difference. Young dog, old man meets young man, old dog keeps. Wait, a young dog, old man meets. So there's a young dog, dog that an old man meets. 
Hold on, is this a riddle? Young young dog, old man meets. Young man, old dog keeps. So are we saying it goes from a young dog and there's an old man and they meet. And then a young man finds an old dog. Okay, let's try to work this out. Let's go find where it is. Okay, so what was it? It was an old man. If we use time... How are we going to do this? We have the man. And then he has... He becomes old. And then he meets the young dog. Hey. And then... And then... And then and then... Old man passes. Dog heartbroken. Time passes. Wait, he needs to revive though. Revive? Does he revive young again and then he becomes old? What if we start like this? Does he... No, he has to be there first. Okay. Otherwise, he won't become old in the first place. And then if we go back... We need to make the dog old somehow. We need to make the dog old somehow. But how do we do that? What if Edgar never passes away? What if Edgar never passes away at all? Maybe time just shifts again and he kind of Benjamin buttons and we just assume that he's phased out of it, whatever. Then he's alive. <laughs> ah, young dog, young dog, old man meets young man, old dog keeps. That's wrong. I said that wrong. That's fine. We, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Persistence, the end of time. Do you reckon it's just the time thing over and over and over again? That would make sense, would it? Would it? Uh, I guess we try it. I guess we try it. That was dumb. <laughs> that was dumb. I didn't like that. I guess it was, I guess at least I guessed it, right? At least I guessed it. Batrachian affair, frogs kissing. Now, I have tried to make the frogs kiss multiple times already, so I'm not really sure how this is gonna work. I have tried to make the frog smooch already. I guess we just try and make him smooch again. See, see how we go. Don't want to smooch in person. And then she gets angry and turns the prince into a frog. The devil mixes with her funky witch juice and makes it purple, which then turns her into a frog. Then they have a chat in the forest, do some frog talk, and she now loves him as a frog. And he's like, yeah, all right. And they go for a little smoochy, little frog smooch. It worked! It's love. It's love. Well done. Well done. Second chance. Now, I have done this one already. I have done this one. I don't remember how I did it, though, because it was by accident. So I'm going to go back and hunt for it. The witch removes the curse from the prince. I don't know if it triggers again. I think it was in the same one. I think it was in the same one we just did. So let's just go back and uh, give it a whirl. All right. What if he turns her into a frog? She turns him into a frog again. And he's like, ooh, you're ugly. You're an ugly witch. But then she turns back into something beautiful. As a beautiful lady. He tells her, I'm a prince. I need to be kissed. And then she kisses the prince. I'm pretty sure that's how we get it and it doesn't trigger again. So just pretend it pops up. If that doesn't work, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's what we did last time. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure. The Titanic heart breaks during shipwreck. Was there a boat? I don't think there was a boat anywhere, was there? Wait, we just saw a boat, didn't we? We've, we've lit, it's the same one again. No, this isn't it. There is a boat here though. Wait, but the devil, the the devil can sink the boat. The devil can sink the boat, Carney. All right. Hold on, let me check something. Let me check something. All right. All right, I think we've worked it out. I think we've worked it out. A lot of um and ah -ing. Which? He's gotta be angry at her. She want, needs to turn him into a frog, right? She goes to the cauldron, but the devil's made it into purple juice. And then she's now a frog. He 
He thinks the frog is the is is the friendly witch. He thinks the frog is the is the nice looking witch. But then the devil gets up to no good. Gets up to no good. And then when the prince jumps on the boat to go to kiss the frog, well, <laughs> they go under. Wait, why is that? Is that not Titanic? That that look. If 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 that would be, that's a boat sinking. As far as I'm concerned, maybe they don't kiss initially. Heart breaks during shipwreck. Oh, because they're in love. The heart, the heartbreak needs to happen. Right. Okay. So there's no anger there. That makes sense. That makes sense. Fear. Accepting the martini. What's wrong with the martini? The only martini I've seen is with the Duke, right? And the bar, uh, the, the butler with the butler holding the drink. All right. What if? The butler. The Duchess is like, uh -huh, please get me a martini. That is what I prefer. The butler's had it. The butler's like, oh man, I'll show, I'll show her about martinis. But she's spying. She's spying. And she sees what the what the butler's up to. He then puts it back. He's like, oh, I couldn't find her. I guess I'll go get that martini now so I keep my job. Man's gotta eat, you know. Man's gotta eat. Accepting the martini with the PP device in in mind. Hmm. A fright battle. Mutual ghost haunt. They have to haunt each other? Insanity. So we need to think of a way where someone wants revenge on someone. And then... Someone wants revenge on someone and then... Right. Okay. 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 How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Chapter five? We need the Baron. We need the Baron. The Baron the one is the one that's always up to no good, right? Baron. The Baron's here in this, in this chapter. What if the Baron pushes the Queen off and then the Queen angry pushes the Baron off and then the Baron angry at the Queen fights with the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Fry battle! Yes! An unlikely match. The Baron marries the knight? We can make the Baron... We can make the Baron marry the knight! I love to see it. Love to see it. So I assume it's just going to be the Baron desperate, right? The Baron really, really desperate to... To get the crown. Surely. <laughs> Surely. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> All I did was open it. I must have done that before the update. Okay, the queen marries the dragon. Apparently, is one. Um, that's not even the one I wanted to go to. I wanted like a cliff or something. Here we go. Let's do this one. No, we need, we need, we need a marry as well, right? Okay, we can do it here. The baron pushes the queen off. The knight becomes the king. But then the Baron is like, you know what? I'll marry him. <laughs> How did that work? <laughs> uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. That works. Collect the stampy. The Queen and the Knight ghost love. Ooh la la. Just a little bit of ghost lovers in the air. I wonder if we could do it on the same one we were just on. So, we need to make the knight and the queen fall in love first, right? Do we need a cage? I think we need a cage. Maybe this one? Is there one with a cage and a cliff? I'm asking for a lot here. Is there one for a cage and a cliff? Oh, we've pretty much already done this. Look! If we don't kill the Baron <laughs> and then reunite them again here... And the queen and the knight ghost love. We love to see it. Matriarchy. The queen marries the maid. Ooh la la. We'd love to see that. I'm keen for that one. Queen marries maid. All right. What if the baron gets rid of the king straight away? He's in our way. And then the baron kidnaps the queen. 
but the maid saves the queen. Now there's no king to marry here, so the maid then marries the queen and they live happily ever after. The queen marries the maid. Crown secrets, king and queen catch each other having an affair. They catch each other having an affair? Oh my God, scandalous. All right, we can start with the, the king and the maid having an affair. And then the queen captures the maid. Up she goes. And the king is like, no, 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 no. I'll let you back down. How dare the queen did that? Then the king captures the queen. <laughs> Who is then saved by the night? And they're in love. And now they're there in love. The queen and the knight have coitus. While the king watches in the bush. Crown secrets. Mm. Crown secrets. Now the Dragon King is the one we accidentally got before, so that's fine. Gluttony, Adam and Eve get indigested? Indigested? That sounds rough. What if they just, Eve eats the apple, then Adam eats the apple, then wait for it, Eve eats the apple, and then Adam decides to eat the apple, and then Eve eats the apple. <laughs> and then Adam, wait for it. You're not going to guess this one. Eats the apple. Absolute gluttons. The both of them. The both of them. William Tell, the pierced fruit. I have no idea what that means. Was there arrows anywhere? I don't remember there being any arrows. We got our boy, Will. Friedrich loves Eve. And they're in love. Love. And then... Eve eats the apple. And judgment rains down on Eve and he's heartbroken. Friedrich wanting to take revenge. Grabs the pew-pew device. Hmm, interesting. And decides to take it out on the apple. <laughs> it's not an arrow, but it's close. It's close. Evil triumphs. The snake laughs at Adam and Eve. The snake is laughing. Maybe Adam and Eve both succumb to triumph and then he laughs at them. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Okay. So they both eat and then judgment happens. And they're both no longer here. And then the snake has to laugh at them. So then maybe the snake's very happy with what he's done. I guessed it. Let's go. The snake laughs at Adam and Eve. Dust to dust, two statues of ash. Now they did turn to statues when judgment hit him initially. Maybe it's a double judgment kind of scenario. What if we just add judgment to the end of this? Two statues of ash. Easy game, let's go. Phases, howling at the moon. So we're gonna have Bernard is a werewolf, I imagine, at some point. Just trying to think how we're going to do this one. All right, so we have Bernard as a werewolf. So let's turn Bernard into a werewolf. And there's another moon. What if he's howling? Okay, he's just, he's just Bernard and the moon. Living their best life. Why doesn't it transform him? Oh, it doesn't transform him back because I put this half crescent in the middle. Okay. I guess that makes sense. It's always a full moon. He never turns back. The dragon gets arrested. Logical explanation. Dragon. Was there a dragon with the... There was. There was a dragon with the detective at some point. I think I know how to do this one. All right. So the Baron disguises himself as the dragon, the scary dragon. What if he scares the detective with it? Oh, 
Now the detective knows there's someone in the suit scaring him. But the Baron doesn't want to get caught, so he goes and puts it back. And then the detective goes and looks at it and finds out it's the Baron. But we need to get the dragon arrested. So the Baron goes and puts it back on because he loves being a dragon. And then the detective goes to the ballroom and the dragon's already there. And he knows who it is because he looked at the fingerprints. The dragon gets arrested. Got him. Hard on the outside. The professor cries. So the professor we think about when um, we had the werewolf and we had the vampires and we had the monsters. The professor gives us the, uh, the deets, but how do we make him cry? The professor has to be sad. So first things first, let's maybe turn Mina into a vampire. And then we go out at night. And then John sees Mina. Oh, that's bad. No, okay, okay, okay. In the crypt, Mina's sleeping and John sees Mina. He's shocked. He runs to the professor and tells tells John how to get rid of Mina. And then John goes out at night. No, that's bad. <laughs> he goes to the crypt and gets rid of Mina when she least expects it. And then the professor sees Mina and cries. It's his fault. It's his fault. Disaster. Oh, I've already done three here accidentally as well. So I will try and re try and remember how I did these three. I think these are the, like, this is the last page here. Low bar, the mirror praises tiny. When does the mirror? So there's a few situations I think where there's the mirror. There's a one with the tiny is the frog and the mirror's in that one. So maybe let's go there. All right, tiny gets a kiss. We need to make the, the mirror Love Tiny somehow, I guess. Which is upset because the mirror loves Snowy. So then the witch turns Snowy. Maybe we just need to get everyone else out of the way. Now, will she straight away attack the prince as well? No, because she loves the prince. What if we make her go to the mirror first? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And now she goes back to the mirror and he said he loves Tiny. Why isn't it working? Maybe Tiny needs to see it. Ah, the mirror praises Tiny. We love Tiny. Affair with a cousin. Well, isn't that raunchy? I don't know if I agree with that. I guess it's going to be with the gnomes. Those gnomes are very sussy. All right, so let's think about this. How are we going to make... How are we going to make cousins? So you have Haiti as a dad. And then he's the dad of Bluey. And let's say he's the dad of Tiny as well. So Haiti's the dad of Bluey and Haiti's the dad of Tiny. Now, if... Blue, Bluey has a kid. Yeah, Bluey has... Bluey's the dad of Peachy. And then Tiny's the dad of Greeny. That would make Greeny and Peachy cousins. Is this right? Yay! I think we won. <laughs> What a disaster. Backstabber, the maid murders the knight. Where do we do that? The maid murders the knight. He must really upset her. So we need to think of how we make the maid upset at the knight. Now, these ones, the king always has an affair with the maid to start off with. Let's put the, the queen in the bush. 
And then the queen captures... The king? <laughs> yes. And then the maid lifts him down. Now, the king is upset at the maid. No, the king is upset at the queen and the maid knows. Now the maid captures the queen. <laughs> and then the knight is saved by the queen and he knows the maid did it. <laughs> so <laughs> then <laughs> the knight captures the maid. Is this right? And then the the king <laughs> lets lets the maid down, and now the maid is angry at the knight, and the maid pushes the knight off the cliff. This is the messiest thing ever. Oh my god, it worked. We did it. All right, spookier. Now we have done this one. But, 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 but I do think I remember how to do it. So let's do it quickly just for the sake of the video. Off memory, I'm pretty sure it was just someone passes away and then sees the devil and gets scared as a ghost. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that is the spookier one. I'm 90% sure. If I'm wrong, please tell me. Frustration, make the devil angry. Now, I'm pretty sure I got this one literally by accident of memory. <laughs> literally by accident. So let's uh, uh, kidnap. The devil kidnaps the queen. And then the knight lets the queen down and tells the knight about the devil. And then the devil goes back and he's like, yo, where's the queen? And he is frustrated. Again, if I'm wrong, please tell me, but that should get you the achievement there. Original fight. Eve yells at Adam. Eve yells at Adam. So if it's an Adam and Eve one, but Eve gets angry at Adam. Maybe if Eve gets zapped and then somehow finds out Adam tricked her. Adam eats the apple and then Adam gives Eve the apple. But then only Eve's getting judged. Adam's nowhere to be found. And then Eve is revived and then goes to speak with Adam and is furious. <laughs> the first ever fight, the original fight, Ghostbuster. Hmm. The ghost is vaporized. No ghosts allowed. The ghost is vaporized. How do we vaporize a ghost? Edgar and Lenora are in love. And then... Lenora passes away. And Edgar finds out his heartbroken. But then the devil... Oh, the cheeky devil... Puts fire into the poison. And then Edgar... Drinks it! And spears the fire onto Ghost Lenora. The ghost is vaporized. The very last one, which I also accidentally got shocked wives. Laura, Lenora and Isabel realize they share their husband. So this will be one. This, did I do this already in the video? That's okay. We can quickly get this one. Oh, this is where I got it. Okay. We already did get it. Anyway, <laughs> we got it when we made Isabel laugh. Perfect. So it's when the devil makes Edgar think that Lenora has passed away. Then he gets with another wife and then he has two wives. The whole shenanigans. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. If this was helpful in any way, please make sure you like down below. Comment your favorite bit. Let me know if I got it wrong as well, because it was a couple we're like unsure about. And obviously subscribe for more fun, cozy puzzle, chaos, indie chaos for a good time. Some for a good time. Anyways, thanks everyone. Have a good day. Bye.